What's up guys, Blake here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a q and A. I asked my followers on Twitter to respond with some questions, so we're gonna answer some of those. Before we get started, I just wanna give a huge thanks to GameStop for sponsoring this video. The Xbox Series S is an amazing all digital console where you can enjoy next gen gaming starting at a great price of just $249 from GameStop. Make the most of every gaming minute with a quick resume, lightning fast load times, and gameplay of up to 120 FPS with Xbox Velocity Architecture. You can enjoy digital games from four generations of Xbox with hundreds of optimized titles that look and play better than ever. When you add the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, you get an instant access to a library of 100 plus high quality games, including day one releases from Xbox Game Studios like Halo Ultimate, Psychonauts 2, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. Don't forget to click the link below, grab yourself an Xbox Series S, you will not regret it, starting at just $249. Question number one is coming out from DJ Robbie. It is the best experience in your life so far. And what is my dream vacation? I would say one of the best experiences in my life so far is being able to travel all around the world, Saudi Arabia, all around the US and hopefully more countries in the future to play video games. It's honestly a dream come true. Never thought I'd make it this far, but very grateful. And my dream vacation would probably be Tokyo. I don't know what I have for Tokyo, but I just really want to go. I know I made some tweets about it saying I was going to go before the new chapter, but never decided to go. But yeah, that'd probably be my dream vacation. Just seems like a really cool culture and different experience. Next question is from FTX Titan. It is what did you have to give up to be a full time streamer? Becoming a full-time streamer was not easy. You know, you have to put in all those hours and give up a lot of your like social life in the beginning to make it. So you're having all those hours in whenever other people aren't streaming. You kind of just got to give up a lot of your life in the beginning, at least, because now you can kind of, there's more flexibility. Obviously, I don't stream as much as I used to, which I need to get back into. And I'm hoping chapter four will bring that. But yeah, you kind of got to give up a lot. Question number three is from Atomic LOL. It is, do you regret moving to Virginia? No, I feel like moving to Virginia was good for me in a way. I do not regret moving to Virginia. Virginia. A lot of my friends are here now. I've kind of built a life here now. Like every time I go visit Florida, I go visit my family and stuff. I just know that I would not want to move back there. Obviously one day I might move back to Florida, but I don't know. Virginia just seems like home now and I actually enjoy it. Question number four is from Jacob, the caster, the goat. What are your goals post Fortnite? Where do you see yourself in five years? My goals post Fortnite is to build up an audience where I can post IRL stuff like vlog type content, which I've been doing a little bit on this channel. Obviously not to like the point I would need to be to make it a full-time career, but yeah, just be able to post whatever I want and still have that audience following me and be able to do whatever I want. Where do I see myself in five years? That's a hard one. Like, I don't really know. I'm hoping I'm successful still and in a good spot, financially stable, not having any financial stress or anything. Obviously that's everyone's goal, but yeah, hopefully still in the scene somewhere, whether that's Fortnite or IRL or somewhere in esports, but just somewhere in this scene still. Question number five is from Scopesy. It is, what are your hobbies outside of Fortnite? One of my main hobbies is on the weekend, go out to DC with some friends at night, go to sporting events. I've been going to a lot of commanders games. There are a lot of fun uh kind of got me back into like nfl and like sports in general been watching a lot more and yeah kind of just hanging out with friends going to grab food go to the mall basically like anything a normal person does question number six is from one fast how tall are you i'm six foot i know a lot of you don't believe that but six foot question number seven is from maple do you ever wonder what you'd be doing without gaming that's a hard one because i honestly don't know i probably would be in college right now because that's obviously what i was going to do before all this happened um I don't know. I, that's basically it. I feel like I'd just be in college right now. Just making it through, get a normal job. And who knows? I might still go to college one day. Never too late for college. Question number eight is from Kaifo. Do you see Fortnite getting big again? I hope, I'm hoping chapter four, I know this video is about to go out right before chapter four comes out. I'm really hoping chapter four revives Fortnite because I need it to. You know, chapter three was rough streaming wise, content wise, competitive wise, everything. It was just a rough time for Fortnite. Obviously viewership was way down. Everything was just down. So I'm really hoping chapter four can bring that back. And I could see that making Fortnite big again. So I guess we'll see what happens. Question number nine is from Ollie Will. Would you recommend college slash university? I feel like college is one of those things that obviously it's a really beneficial thing if you know what you're going for and you need it to get the dream job that you want like doctor all that stuff but if you have something in life that you feel like you could make into a full-time job like for example my streaming stuff like i saw an opportunity and i took advantage of that to take some time off not go to college right whenever everyone my age was going to college and luckily it worked out obviously it's not always going to work out but i feel like taking those risks in life is what you need to do if you want to be successful and enjoy what you do for a living i definitely would recommend 
recommend college though for anyone that wants to go down that path and has like an idea of what they want to do in their life and even if you don't it's a good time to learn what you want to do because i know a lot of people that go to college and they switch majors and all that yeah question number 10 is from felix d palma one how do you keep up with everything as you get older currently 17 almost 18. so what i've learned in life is you learn a lot of life lessons that you hear people talk about but you don't actually learn from it until you experience it yourself so this is honestly a hard question to answer because you literally like you live and you learn i know people say that all the time but you don't really like understand that saying until you actually are living and learning like, you'll make mistakes you'll go down bad paths all this stuff but the only way to learn from that is to actually experience it because people can tell you what to do or tell you all this stuff but you're not going to listen to it until you actually experience it and i feel like that's a big part of life especially around the ages of like 18 to 21 even 22 obviously probably your whole 20s i'm i'm still young i'm only 20 but i feel like in the past two years i've learned so much about life and just things to do things not to do etc question number 11 is from vixie one x how much money was your first pc i think my first pc was around a thousand dollars it's actually right there that's the pc i built my first pc i was working with my mom's friend he did like mowing lawns and stuff i would mow lawns with him over the summer make money um it was really hot out you know it was, that's honestly like the first like job i've ever had or only job i've ever had really um yeah i made like a couple hundred bucks from that like over the summer and then my sister's ex-boyfriend resold shoes so one night there were these new vans fear of gods dropping at the mall or something at some store so we camped out all night at the store we were like first in line we got the shoes he resold them for me i made another couple hundred bucks and then christmas came around my birthday came around so i just asked for like parts here and there it definitely wasn't easy getting that first pc but it's brought me a long way so i'm very grateful to have been able to, to achieve that goal of building it but yeah it's right there that's my first pc it was my streaming pc for a while and then it kind of started breaking down because that was in like 2017. Question number 12 is from O-Rex, my brother. What are the plans for the future? So with chapter four coming out, I have a lot of plans. I've been thinking of a lot of video ideas like content wise for chapter four, like Fortnite on my YouTube. And obviously I want to get the stream booted back up. I know I say that a lot, but I'm just going to try and do it. I'm not going to talk about that because I've done that enough. Yeah. A lot of content ideas for the YouTube. So be ready, be looking out for that. Um, and hopefully this can take me like long term into enjoying all this stuff again, like with Fortnite related. I'm really hoping, I know I said it earlier in this video, but I'm really hoping chapter four brings back that love for the game and motivation I once had. Question number 13 from Zach WYD. Did you play sports in high school? Uh my freshman year I played football. I was low-key a bench warmer, but it was a lot of fun and I saw a lot of progress in like my body and stuff from all the weightlifting and conditioning and stuff. Uh it was definitely a fun experience, but I quit after the first season because it just took up a lot of time and i was getting home at like 5 p.m i was just it was exhausting and it didn't seem worth it in the long run even though it was such a good time but luckily i did quit because that's what led me to playing more fortnite obviously it sounds nerdy but it became my full-time job like a career so i feel like if i would have stayed playing football i would never would have made it to the point i'm at today so i'm very grateful that i made that decision yeah question number 14 from who's you who's your favorite teammate you've ever played with i gotta go with skalakis you know me scoped and okus like the vibes were just unmatched uh it was just the most fun trio it was a lot of fun question number 15 from bizzle what's your best sport and do you think you have any chance of beating me dude i would beat bizzle in any sport my best sport is every sport bizzle is literally just so unathletic it's unbelievable and it is just oh my god bro i just the thought of thinking about beating bizzle just makes me so happy bro question number 16 is from lillian what inspired you to start streaming and having a career and playing esports it was honestly just something i always enjoyed like ever since i was young i was playing video games like since the playstation 2 i was playing like kingdom hearts whenever i was in like preschool and i just always enjoyed video games i went from like playstation 2 to ps3 i was playing like call of duty and stuff and then went on to like my Minecraft, CSGO, Black Ops 3, and then eventually Fortnite. And Fortnite's just really what took off. But I always watched these YouTubers, like all the phase guys back in the COD days. And like, I just always saw them making videos every day. And like, that was like their full-time job. And I always thought that was so cool. And then I wanted to do that one day, but never really thought I would actually be in the position to. So yeah, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. We've been posting some IRL content. I did vlog Atlanta. That video is not up yet, but I'll probably still post that eventually. And then chapter four, I'm really gonna be trying to focus on content related videos. I have a couple ideas in mind already that I'll be recording right when the chapter drops. But yeah, I'll see you guys. Peace out.